Hey, what's going on guys? Kovmakikins here. In this video we're gonna be creating parse go command function in order to make our chess engine actually start calculating the best move in a given position and we'll limit ourselves only to the first, uh, to only to the fixed depth just for the debugging purposes and later on we'll obviously add all, all the timing uh, handlings uh, all the handlings for various timings to make chess engine play like different uh, versions, different time controls and uh, it would be <laughs> it would be changing its inner internal settings properly in order to play like deeper with the longer time controls faster and bliss and things like that but first just for the debugging purposes we only need to make uh, it to make it able to actually play fixed depth search in case when we uh, set the fixed depth uh, uh, so-called level within the arena GUI or uh, it would be playing the fixed depth for whatever else for for whatever else time controls again like just for the debugging purposes just just to to give to give you an idea how how you can make your chess engine play versus other engines without getting bothered with where various time timings if you don't really want to okay so without further ado let's actually create a function to parse our go command just look to the commentary uh, so here we want to parse UCI go command. So every time uh, UCI, uh, every time GUI wants to make chess engine start calculating, it sends so-called go command. And this is the exact uh, example of how uh, go command looks like. So the string is go depth, and then the value of which depth to go basically. So uh, let's create the void. Uh, uh, parse go like this and it would be taking the character pointer to the command itself and the very first thing we want to initialize our depth so by default it would be equal to some illegal value like minus one so I can say int depth is equal to minus one like this and uh, now we need, uh, uh, I'll be using the uh, searching for the substring technique just right with it before. Uh, uh, like this, copy, and we can simply say like if, and if this expression actually returns true, in this case, uh, we want to set up our depth equal to, and now I'm using the uh, a to i function, which converts um, uh, convert string to integer uh, and assign uh, the result value to depth. Okay, and now we need also to, uh, well actually, hold on a second, just forgot to initialize uh, a character pointer to, uh, uh, to, the current, uh, to the current depth argument. So initialize um, a char character pointer to the current uh, depth argument and it would be the character pointer and let's call it uh, current depth like this and it will be equal to null obviously just to, to initialize this and here we can say if this current depth equals to a substring uh, not the moves but uh, the depth here in this case uh, we want to say current depth uh, plus and the number is 1 
two, three, four, five, six elements plus plus six. So we just uh, we just shift the pointer to the right, just like we did before, and right to uh, point to the very first character here that points to where the argument begins. So let's say we have a depth a depth of sixty four, which is obviously hardly to imagine, but still. So the pointer would be pointing here, and this entire string would be converted to integer within this line and assigned to our depth. And so here we want to handle fixed depth search. And the very last thing to consider would be to actually call our search position. Uh, we didn't yet implement the search position, so just leave this commanded at the moment. So search position and only the depth at the moment would be the only argument there. But again, I'm not even calling this position at the moment because um, we don't really uh, we don't really have that position yet. And the only thing I want to check here is actually I want to print the depth. So uh, sorry, like print f and depth and make sure it's integer it's important and the depth like this so if i did everything correctly it now should be printing the depth as well so parse go go command and here i just say parse go and let's say go depth Six and it should print six if I did everything correctly. So let's compile and run the code and see what happens. So make debug and if it compiles, I want to run the BBC binary executable here. Okay, so implicit declaration of uh, this function a to i. It still prints the result, by the way. Yeah, uh, this happens because we didn't yet include the std leap here. So at the very beginning of the source file, I just want to include uh, stdlib.h. So this is the way how to get rid of this warning here. Okay, so that is equal to six. So let's try to play around. So one, this, sh this should be fairly self-explanatory here. Okay, and let now let's try some double double digits to fix the depth and now we just we just have some astronomic number that we will never have but just to make sure that string is converted to integer and actually it is converted to integer which which is really good so this is it guys uh regarding the parse go command obviously like uh i have been already mentioning we, we would be uh making this um, we would be taking care of all the possible time controls here but this would this would this would happen much later on within this series so uh just for now i want to provide the um, let's say different time controls uh placeholder so i would now like to say like uh different time controls placeholders so depth would it be equal to let's say let's say it would be equal to six uh, and actually else so let's start, let's make it again so it still has the number but well I don't remember the uh, particular uh, you say command is was something like uh, go white uh, white increment like some value black increment some value and uh, I, I don't remember this command but how by heart sorry just need to reference that but uh, anyway if we just have go and whatever else it should now print as the fixed depth of six which ensures that uh, all the time controls would have searched with a fixed depth of six just for the debugging purposes so no worries we're gonna implement this later on and for now uh, let's make it like to the fixed depth so here we can manipulate this depth parameter 
like this. Okay guys, so this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next part where we're supposed to be implementing the main UCI loop. And starting from that point, we would, we would already actually be able to connect our program to GUI and actually start our alphabet stuff and all the search and evaluation stuff. And then we will be able to see uh, to see it within the GUI of how it plays itself and how it improves its play uh, when we would be improving the source code, adding new features, things like that. So uh, thanks for watching basically. Until the next time and take care.